Hey, it's Russ here from the Air Users blog, and I've been having a very nostalgic moment this week, taking me right back to the early days of my music making, because I've got myself a hands-on of the UVI workstation drumulation and emulation, and I have to say, it's been a lot of fun. For those who are too young to remember, emulator and a drumulator were two really cool synth and drum machines from Emu Systems. They went on later to make things like Proteus and the Emacs synth, and lots of the sounds you hear even these days, especially used in hip hop and stuff like that, are from things like Planet Fat and stuff like this. And this was where they began uh, with the emulator. And the emulator in its day in the early 80s was perhaps the most affordable, and I say affordable, the, compa- the, the, the other things you could get hold of were things like the Fairlight and also the Synclavier, which were were tens of thousands of dollars, I think about seventy, eighty thousand dollars each of them at least. And the emulator was almost the most affordable one in those days, but still at about twenty, twenty five thousand dollars, if my memory serves me well. And it was a sampler. And it also had some other cool things on it, such as filters and stuff. And so you've got some very, very cool sampled sounds. Now, I've already had a play with it. I sort of knocked up this kind of quick sound demo, just to give you an idea. So we've got the drums coming in from the uh, drumulator copy and emulation, should I say. And there we are. And that's a step-based drum machine. And I have to say straight away, this is cool in itself. Uh, I was really smiling just using this. I just mute the other stuff as well that I'm going to play you in a while. So you've got some very nice sounds straight away. Very, very authentic as well. They've got a real good warmth to them that often you don't have when you start listening to modern sampled instruments that are trying to emulate the old stuff. And what you have is, of course, you have the, you can play them. off the keyboard and then C3 becomes your trigger to play the pattern. Then it's simply a case of going through here and just uh, if we want to play a new, as you can see, just like any other step based sequencer. And they've been really cool in some ways of figuring out the sort of sounds they had. So we've got things like Cameo. Some of you will remember Cameo. And the sound of that band, that was the guy that wore a, uh, a jock strap, uh, I think a red one, uh, on stage. Uh, and the sounds are very, very nice. When they got the, the original machine itself, this is the standard uh, drumulator sort of sound. Just give that a second to load. And you can see there's 650 samples. Really old school. Very nice. And then we've got things as like New Order. They did a track called Blue Monday. And uh, that's memorable because of its uh, kick drum, which did basically this. tune stuff and then we can load separate instruments if we want it's a beautiful interface and listen to this it just brings back all the movies from the 80s things such as uh, Beverly Hills Cop and those kind of tracks and I think that may have actually been a Lindrum on Beverly Hills Cop, but the very same, those very similar sounds. And uh, let's say Art of Noise kind of sound as well, coming in on the kit. So this is just the kit alone. And uh, very, very sweet. There's this lovely way that you choose the way to program it as well. If we clear a pattern out, we want to start from scratch. And you just choose which one you're going to, you're going to program first here which pair, so there's the snare and the kick and then the hi-hats and the toms and we can just go in then and start recording get it running (laughs) 
You see, there's two levels as well. High and low pass filters. Very 80s, very sweet. So it's really, really old school and really quite cool. Uh, so I'm just going to put that back quickly onto my Art of Box kit because I've just put this track in, just to give you an idea. So I've got in, literally, this will play in the UVI workstation, which is a free download. And it will also pay, play in the Mac 5 sampler as well, version 3. I've used it in both. What's really cool as well is you've got the cool as well, uh, arpeggiator you can use. So I've used that in this part. So literally it's just made up of arps. The only part I've played in actually is the pad. So I'm just going to come back and just play you this for a second. Just let you have a listen to it. Kind of a nod to the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> You get the idea anyway. So some nice 80s nostalgia there. Let's come into the interface now and show you it in some detail. Got the Pet Shop strings built in at the moment. Loaded in. And it's... Straight away, what I sort of start to appreciate is I know they've spent a lot of time sampling this stuff. And you get that lovely warmth coming off stuff. And all that MIDI sort of, when I say MIDI, I don't mean as in MIDI, M-I-D-I, I mean MIDI-ness, the, the mid-range that used to be in samplers that, uh, of course, became more and more hi-fi as quality got better, as the, the bit depth got better, and the sampling rate got higher. And in some ways, you just don't get this kind of sound anymore in a sampler. And they try and reproduce it. I know that NI have got some kind of plug-in with Machine, and I know that the new Akai's have got it as well. But they've done a really good job here at UVI to get that... That real mid-range honk that was in lots of samples. Uh, so if we come out, and I'll go into the uh, the browser and show you the kind of thing you've got. You've got lots of basses, bells, choirs, drums, fretted instruments. And I'll just give you some sort of nods to what there, there are in here. So if I load you in this bass... Then we can go and filter it. There's the filter envelope. Turn that off altogether. Put it back on. And then we've got an amp envelope. A stereo it. Nice big stereo width. And we can choose what we assign to the mod wheel. So at the moment the filter is assigned. So if we press the mod wheel. Yeah. 
loads of effects as well, reverb, phaser. And a bit crushy if you really want to start. Really making it old school. But I think, you know, it's so well sampled in the first place. They've done such a good job of capturing that original sort of 80s sound of it that the bit crusher is almost uh, an unnecessary inclusion. I could see why they've done it, and I don't complain that they've done it. But as I say, I think that it... Uh, isn't entirely necessary in a synth that's been so well sampled in the first place. So let's just go through some of the samples, just to give you a... Well, let's go into some more detail to some of the other stuff. So if we go to something like some of the strings and uh, some emulator strings... And again, we could filter those. Put a filter envelope on it. Add a delay to it. Some reverb. Now, I've seen some forums and read up a bit before I even started to review this to see what other people were thinking. And I think the two big things that were said were, why aren't there so many of the original emulator uh, patches on there? And the second one was about the cost. I think the cost comes in at a couple of hundred dollars for this. So it's something you've really got to think about. I think the truth is that uh, going through it quite a lot and uh, just something else like it. It does really capture an emulator. That's the truth of it. It's done a great job of doing that. And I know there are sample libraries out there that say this is an emulator sample library. But when I'm using this, I feel like I'm using an emulator. I feel like the sound of the emulator is still there. And it works like an emulator. And the drums in particular are wonderful. And they're sort of thrown in for three, uh, as they say, when you, you buy it. And I'm just going to go through some more sounds. And it's, it's quite difficult in a review to go through as many sounds as I'd like to. And just some of the kind of highlights. So... Uh, it's one I found earlier today. This sweet analog is particularly nice. I think what I'm saying is if you're a real vintage uh, fiend and you really love the vintage stuff, this is going to make you smile. Uh, and so let me just, as I say, I'm going to enable the arpeggiator now. I think the reason I made the track earlier was the 80s were full of arpeggiated tracks because it almost the first time we'd really got into them in a, in a big way, in an easy way, so. And when you start adding the arpeggiators to any of these, that really starts to make them feel like the tracks as they were, the sound of that era. I'm trying to come back out of that and uh, kind of shorten that sound a bit. Very vintage. So there's a really good library in there. They've done a really good job of capturing stuff, even like D50s and stuff like that are in here. Which in a sense uh, are not as useful because you there's a I've created a D50 library there. But the, the emulator stuff itself and the, the vintage stuff, I think, is pretty cool. And uh, you've got, uh, using a UVI workstation, you've got four instances you can pull in here, which is what I've done. So I've still got the drum machine here if I want to open that up and load a different sound in. Uh, and I've still got uh, three other instances of it as well. So there we are, my review of it. Uh, what do I think? I think that it's a valid point, to be honest, the the point about the, the library. It's also a valid point about the cost. Uh, some are feeling it's expensive, but I think it's it's costing that reason that much because I think they've done a lot of hard work to try and get it as close as possible. And uh, so 200 bucks, I think, is the price. Uh, maybe just too steep for some people. But for me, I think it's a pretty cool plugin. I think it's great sounds. I think they've done a fantastic job. And I think it's worth checking out and worth thinking about seriously if you're really into vintage stuff and you can't get hold of an emulator. 
I think what I'm saying really is it's the closest thing perhaps to an emulator without buying one. That's my review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.